भगवत गीता जिसे एच कोट्स भगवत गीता इस द हॉलीएस्ट द हॉली बुक्स ऑफ द हिंदूस एंड इट इस सो हॉली दे से इफ यू जस्ट टच द बुक इट्सेल्फ यू बिकम गोल्ड एंड देन इफ यू रीड इट it becomes diamond yes. such is the power of that book bhagavad gita today's quote on bhagavad gita is perform your obligatory duty because action is indeed better than inaction this quote reminded me about my our idranagar school owner armugam he was attacked by not russia neither nato or america by corona and he just had little cold or Slight fever. They took to the hospital, and the hospital said, "You have to be admitted. We cannot allow you outside." That was the beginning days. He was kept inside for one week, two weeks, and he was telling, "I suffered. It is almost like death. Nobody comes to see you. You are like a pariah inside. So painful." He started making big fight. They shifted him to some three-star or two-five-star hotel where they could afford to uh, pay him. There also the situation was the same. Then he begged his wife, "Please take me back." His wife was very good girl. They were basically love. Was Armogam and his wife. So she took him to the house, and he was telling me that he, his wife, his son, and daughter all stayed in the same room, knowing that he had corona declared by this warmongers. And he said, first time I felt heavenly. My wife was not at all scared because we all decided if we have to live, let us live together, die together. My wife, my daughter, my son, all we slept in the same room. And after a week, I went and checked it up. There was no corona. <laughs> Such is the effect. Perform your obligatory duty because action is indeed better than inaction. This action of Armogam's wife and his daughter and son, that movement action, that was the obligatory duty. The 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 culture, the samskriti of the Hindus, beautifully performed. When there was sickness, the whole house stops like a rockum school. When child is sick, whole rockum school stops like our mother's house stopped. We all care for the child by cleaning up the whole house with rock salt, cutting the onion and keeping everywhere. If when I was not well, I declared that you are all going to have. Zero oil cooking food, and they did it for one full year. The whole school. Such was the effect of the Bhagavad Gita of the Hindu. Perform your obligatory duty. If you have done your obligatory duty, who and who can stop you? Your richness is powerful. You could feel the richness, and in that obligatory duty lies. This holiest of the holy book, your body. You don't even have to read sometimes because when you do your obligatory duty itself, you are the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, they call you sinews. Feel, smell, taste, touch, and the five sense organs merged in you are the sin. The people stay on this side of the sin to remember are called the Hindus. Yes. Such is the power. Bhagavad Gita quotes perform your obligatory duty. Simple. That's what the whole of India has done it. 
even after thousand years of invasion, thousand years of slavery, six hundred years by Muslim invasion, two hundred years by the British, the Dutch, the Portuguese, and the French. They would convert only a small percent of the people to their thinking because India understood, the Hindus understood only one language, the obligatory duty, the mother and the daughter, the son and the father, the grandfather and grandmother, they all together in one plate eat, take baths together, pray together, work together. What the father knew, grandfather knew, great grandfather, godfather knew. That is one line, obligated duty. Early morning, every Hindus and every Hindu house. The moment they get up, they apply the saliva into the eyes because that was the first medicine the body makes. And the eye power increases. No eye infection. And before the saliva would move up, they drink one liter of water by chewing the water mixed with the saliva obligatory duty from the holiest of the holy book Bhagavad Gita of the Sintus where the five elements are melted and the most powerful figure in that physical body they drink that water when they brush their teeth they make sure the finger Presses the gums for minimum 15 times up and down. They get beautiful teeth. Rinse them all 18 times so that they don't get cold and fever, cough, and other things. And then the nostril blood 30 times, 200 times of stomach pumpings. Anuloma viloma, yes, 468. Meditate. Sing the bhajan, that is a prayer song, to make sure the vocal cords are melting with the natural sound of the chopping of the birds and the wind and the sunlight before they could open the mouth and then cut the little birds. Thamasoma Jyoti Gemaya, they like the lamp, the hymns. From the holiest of the holiest book, Bhagavad Gita. They became a part and parcel of the holiest book. They like the light to make sure all the viruses goes out and light. When they see the light, they see the light, the smallest light takes them far away to the sun. They look at the sun so that the eye power increases. So they practice hand with folded hands, telling the sun, You and I are one. They become so powerful by taking the sun's rays into their body and stretch open, take it's yours. Sunlight enters the body as a dance, a loud dance, an orgasmic experience for loud dance called Surya Namaskar, stretching the whole body. Because the new flexibility is thy name where no disease and the moment flexibility goes down, all diseases and after the Surya Namaskar they go to the land. Yes. Such is the obligatory duty that the Hindus have been taught that a man should not even take a flower to even hit a girl. Because the girl is the earth of the mother, earth that they knew where the seed has to bloom. Husband and wife becomes one, father and mother becomes one. They knew in that branches opens to make the family tree. The joint family stands strong, the family like a pyramid. That was the power of the Hindus where no invading, invading army could ever touch him. They were like a lotus. Bhagavad Gita course. Perform your obligatory duty because action is indeed better than 
in action because no man in the Hindu community will sleep without kissing the wife's feet and the cheeks. And the wife makes sure that she touches the feet and kisses on both the feet. And together they have touched and kissed the children's feet and hugged them. The hug and the kiss is the Bhagavad Gita. That roots were so deep down, the Hindus stand tall. In the strongest wind, it doesn't crack. 